Hey guys. So, Blair doesn't want to be in this video. <laughs> Even though she's right here. <laughs> so, she wants me to talk about the Canada trip. And so, uh, part of this is going to be kind of a, a voiceover to some of the footage I, I took while I was up there with the GoPro that uh, our dog Brady actually chewed up one night. And we'll talk about that, Wait. I guess, another time. No, it's already up. It's already up? Okay, so you already know about, <laughs> you already know about Brady. And him just destroying our GoPro footage. Or not our footage, <laughs> but our GoPro. And so we got some footage. This is the last bit of footage that this GoPro has received. We'll say that. A little precursor to all this. Why are you laughing so hard? <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> so, okay. This video is, is really just about me being in Canada. So, actually, I, I got a pretty good deal. Um... It's a, it's a technically a business trip that one of my uh, one of my current clients actually took me on. He made me actually his uh, his marketing guy, you know, and so he actually took me to relate to this this commune uh, that is up in Canada. Uh, they're called Hutterites, and so this vid uh, video footage is actually just a bit of uh, the shenanigans we got into while we we're up there. And so, pretty much all I did was go to Walmart and then visit this commune, and that's all I know of Canada. And so, uh, I'll have Blair start it, and I'll kind of just do a voiceover. As you can see, we're traveling in a car. Uh, we, we get to the, the footage of where we actually see... <laughs> you can see, uh, I'm, I'm traveling with a guy named Randy, a guy named Brad. We're up there to actually do a whole deal with these, these uh, Hutterites for this uh, welding. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah this 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 welding thing and so I'm, I'm asking these guys to actually do some footage of uh while we're in the car uh this is while it's like five degrees outside we are from texas texans only get like 30 to 40 degrees okay and this is fahrenheit so these guys get to like the negative 30s and stuff like that and so it's just freezing cold up there um but i mean i it's it's not actually too bad. Once you're in it, it's kind of a dry, cold. Uh, down here, it's it's always wet uh, for what we do. Um, so you can see, I'm just not used to this. I'm just every little thing. I'm like filming. I'm like, oh look, a snow flurry. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we took footage of everything. The time when I'm actually looking at the sun. Um, this is actually the first time I've seen the sun in Canada. <laughs> uh, pretty much, it's been overcast the whole time I was there. Uh, it's only snowing. By the time we got there, it was snowing that night. We met with the Hutterites overnight. We, this is the first time I met them. It was it was kind of this kind of awkward meeting. Uh, we didn't know what to expect, or I didn't know what to expect. Uh, we got invited into their homes. We got invited to to meet their wives. Uh, it's a whole different style of of engagement than what we're used to. Like the wives eat separate from the men. Um, it, it's it's very different. Uh, but I mean, I respect everything they do. Uh, every little thing that they do is just, it's on a scale of, this is what's good for my family. This is what's good for my community. This is what's good for the community next to me. That is also Hutterites. Uh, I don't know. It's just very interesting. We, we got to see, or I got to see actually all of us got to see, um, a river for the first time, like kind of a stream, I guess more, it's more of a river. I don't know what that is. It's, it's completely frozen. Uh, the guys that were working on a bridge to cross that river also had the product that we're trying to sell across the U.S. And so it was really neat to tell them, like, this product is actually built up on that hill over there. <laughs> it, it was really neat. And so um, when we were driving with them, they said, let's let's go off-road a little bit. Let's, let's go show you the lake. We're going to show you that fire does not melt a hole through ice. <laughs> <laughs> so one of our guys didn't believe that we we drove through all this ice. We had a four by four vehicle. We got we got lucky on on that rental, um, and we got the insurance, of course. <laughs> but we drove onto a lake or onto a, a little river area. Um, they drove their gator on there, brought us a uh, uh, what is it? Not a rototiller, a an auger. They they brought us an auger. They, they do a lot of ice fishing up there. You know, it's, I'm vegan, so I was like, you know, we can't do the we can't do the fishing side. But I'd love to drill a hole through ice. <laughs> so uh, they brought us this auger. Uh, they called a guy. Um, they're like, "Hey, that that next meeting can wait. We're gonna have these Texans drill a hole." <laughs> so they brought us this auger. Uh, this guy drills a hole in front of us, and um, how we don't. Is the, or how thick is the ice? The the ice at this time is not even the coldest. The the ice gets to be uh, about. Let's see. 
about 30 inches worth, but we had it at 16 inches. Um, in this specific spot, it was 16 inches. And so we had uh, this first guy that we actually have footage of. Is His name is Brad. Uh, well, the first guy, I guess, technically is Leonard. He, he lives there. He does it quick. He's like, and then, like, gets, uh, gets water, shows us how to do it. And then uh, the next guy grabs it. His name is Brad. Uh, he's one of our guys, and he, he takes a while. You know, he's, like, really precise. He's like, I'm going to go slow. He barely puts any weight on it. And then he pulls pulls up, and then you see that he actually gets a little bit of water on his shoe. Um, well, I guess at a later time, I'll get the footage of, of me doing it. <laughs> it is not quite that precise. So you'll see me do it, and I basically fall in the river. Um, and then I pull it out, but... Uh, the next bit of footage is actually us, uh, I, I jump, like, there's this guy named Joseph, right? So Joseph, Jacob, Jonathan, I mean, they have these names that, they're all J's, you know, and the, uh, this guy, he's, he's like, who wants to ride with me? It's like, we're going to go up this hill, we're going to make it before, like, 15 minutes before anybody else can get up on this hill so we can go meet with this other marketing guy, and, uh, which, you know, I'm marketing, I need to go talk to this guy, so I was like, you know what, I'll do it. Let's go up this giant hill with a gator. And so you see us, like, just crawling up this hill. It looks kind of flat. This thing was insane. Like, I... Later on, the guy's like, I'm surprised we made it up. <laughs> He's like, we almost fell in the ravine a couple of times, but no, we made it up. <laughs> and uh, they, they all sound Irish or kind of... Uh, like, they're, like they're from Switzerland. Uh, they, they do their sermons in German... It's just a whole community based around, like, this long, long extended tradition, or set of traditions, really. Um, and it's, it's, like, you can definitely tell in their voice. They're kind of a mixture of German. Um, there's, like, some Swiss, maybe, kind of intellect in there. And then with a little bit of Canadian. And it's just it's just amazing. Everything they do is just so precise. Oh, look at you holding it for me. I can use both my hands to explain now. And so, uh, yeah, we finally came back to the U.S. Uh, Blair was, I guess, missing me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're planning on going back up and uh, doing a bit more to extend the business for the community. There's there's a lot to be done. But, um, yeah, this is the first trips of many. And then um, I'm working with my business to actually do a few more trips, even past just just Canada. We're also going to go all over the U.S. trying to sell this this, this new set of items. So, that's uh, that's what I was doing the last week, and so uh, yeah, just want to let you guys know that uh, even during the, the the Christmas time, I was experiencing what a lot of you Northerners experience: a bit more, a uh, bit more ice, a bit more snow. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess that's that's all I have to say. Maybe I'll have more to add on to it later. Maybe with my uh, my drilling experience with Blake. I don't know. You have anything <laughs> to add on? At me. I have nothing to add. I'm not here. She doesn't want to be here right now. <laughs> yeah. She's already ready for bed. She's want, she wants to just be done with all this. So hmm. I guess I'll leave it at that. And uh, as Blair would say, Merry Christmas and goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, baby.